we've done this before with you, but since you've got in such a vast filmography and television career, uh, we've come up with yet more um, celebrity true or false uh, items for you where things okay. have, you have said things or things have been said about your career that we need to know if they're true or false. Okay. okay. Here we go. We've got a drop for it. Hit it. Hit it. Celebrity true or false. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> well, you're familiar with that scene as well from that drop, I think, right there. Okay, very good. Good drop. Uh, first up for Kevin Bacon, celebrity true or false. True or false, you spent the money you made from your first movie within a week. Yes. That is a true story. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And this was and this was uh, Animal House? Animal House, yeah. Yeah, in the, that would be brought 77, maybe 78, something like that. And how much did you make from Animal House? You know, maybe uh, uh, 2000 bucks. Three thousand bucks, something That's like that. Two, two grand, three grand, yeah. and you spent it within a week. And I, and back then, I didn't even have an agent, so I didn't have to pay ten percent. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the full thing. Listen, I was living large, man, and I right, yeah, I spent it and uh, had to get go with my tail between my legs and back to my my job as a waiter. What'd you spend it on? Do you remember? Well, I don't know. We we have to get into that. <laughs> It was it, it was it was it was the things. 70s, you know. Yeah. Look it up. <laughs> Platform shoes. Platform <laughs> shoes. Okay. That was it. A Very new pair good. of roller disco skates. Two grand, in, two grand in '78 is pretty nice, right? Wow. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah. Listen. Yes, it was. Uh, it was big. It was big money for me. Well, you're hanging with Belushi, so <laughs> I guess okay. Very good. Uh, next up, true or false? <laughs> Kevin Bacon to prepare for your role in Footloose. You attended classes at a high school in Utah at the age of 24, pretending to be a transfer student from Philadelphia. Is that, that true? That's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. It. What the hell? Really? Like, yeah, they, you know, uh, I, I have always been somebody that, uh, to the extent that I can, likes to do a ride along. You know, we call that a ride along. Uh -huh. like, like when you're playing a cop, you know, you'll, you'll go out on a, on a, on a run. Mm-hmm. Um, that's probably like the silliest ride along in history, but uh, I, I I had um, doubts about being able to pull off uh, at 24, you know, being a 17 year old kid, and I, I felt like maybe I needed to just experience what that was like, as well as experience what it would be. I I, I grew up in Philadelphia, went to school in Philadelphia, so I never I was never my parents didn't move around, I never had to move into a new place or a new town. Not until I moved to New York to become an actor, so. To be a fish out of water and to uh, see what it would be like to throw it into a you know a culturally different sort of place was uh, I felt important. So how deep did you get? Like, did you literally have a full day of classes? A full day of classes, yeah. And the only people that knew were <laughs> the uh, the principal. The principal was the only one. Like, none of the students, none of the teachers knew. So the teachers were actually <laughs> super annoyed that I was coming in in the middle of the year, you know, and the, and they they definitely had a, um, you know, who are you, big shot city kid, you know, kind of thing. But it was a lot of stuff that actually related a lot to what I actually had to go through in the, in the movie. And I, I, I actually learned a lot from doing it, actually. Like, you know, like actual academics? Did you take no, tests? Not actually, no, not actually. No, like no, no, no. Did you have to do the work? No, not the ac okay. academics. That's just the just the attitude. You know, I had this. I'll give you an example. I had an attitude that there was a shot of me coming into the school and walking in the first day, mm -hmm. and I had an attitude that that having been raised in the big city on the East Coast, as the character was, mm -hmm. that I would be sort of you know badass, kind of you know strolling down the hall. You know, hey, if, you know, go ahead and give me get it your best shot. When I actually got into that situation, I was so terrified that I was like walking down the hall and just keeping my head down, you know what I mean? And, and trying to, you know, not get my ass kicked basically. And, and you know, going into the bathroom and, the, and the, these big, you know, corn fed dudes would come in and, you know, sort of start hassling me. And that's not something that I really expected. And so I adjusted the performance in the movie to reflect more of that. How about that? When was the last time you held an LP version of the Footloose soundtrack? I'd say about, uh, I signed one about two days ago. Did wow. you really? Yeah. Wow. Well, here's another one. Oh, nice. Here you go. 
<laughs> There's that one. These are yours, Mike Del Tufo? Yeah, that's actually from my collection. There you go. And when then was what was the last time? I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I we need the Walkman. Oh, here's the Walkman, right? right? By the way, and here's, the, here's a picture disc version. There you go. Oh, okay. Those are like, when was the last time you held a picture well, disc that, version? That's of been a while. What is a picture disc? <laughs> what, Mike, what is a picture disc? It has the picture of the album on the actual LP itself, which is oh, amazing. But this doesn't play the movie. Yes. Oh, it no, does play. No, 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 no. no that's, that's the all, actual album. A, but that would be a la- that would be disc. laser disc. Right. I actually do right. have the laser disc of that because it's on the top. <laughs> right. I love that and Saturday Night Fever are my two favorite soundtracks ever. Oh yeah, it was a good soundtrack a, for I mean, sure. The soundtrack's amazing. Have you ever met Kenny Loggins? Oh yeah, yeah. I've, we, I've, 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 I've done the song with him. Yeah. When? Yeah. We. Uh, yeah. You know, we were at a benefit or something like that, and our, our paths have crossed a, a number of times. Okay. Yeah. There you go. 